All right, guys, latest epic cookie, Silver Bell cookie is here. Our first uh, cookie of the fairy kingdom. All right, so we got a rear support. I thought it, you know, he was going to be a range, but no, he's not. So uh, let's go and level him up. Uh, up to level 80. I know and I can uh, let's see how he is. All right, not as long as White Lilies, but here we go. Gleeful Chime, 15 second cooldown as well here. All right, Silver Bell flowers bloom, periodically healing the allies and granting a damage resist buff. Uh, healing targets will also receive bonus healing depending on the number of buffs they currently have. Enemies will receive damage and gain the Silver Bell pollen debuff, dealing periodic damage. When Silver Bell pollen's uh, duration is over, it will cause area damage and stun the targets in range. Silver Bell Cookie is immune to the uh, spore dispersal and mushroom mutation effects. Perhaps he might provide additional support to his fellow knights of the fairy kingdom. Uh, so here we go, guys. The number. Single hit damage is 278.1% of attack. Silver Bell Pollen damage is 379% of attack every 0.5 second for 3 seconds. Silver Bell Pollen final hit damage is going to be 278.1% of attack and a 1.5 second stun. Healing is going to be 23% of attack every 1 second for 7 seconds, kind of like uh, uh, Parfait here. And then bonus healing is going to be 8.5% per 1 buff on target, capped at 220%. Damage resist is going to be 7.5% for 17 seconds, stacks up to 3 times. All right, so we also do get damage resist buff. Stacks up to three times. Uh, so that is 22.5%. Uh, All right, not bad. We'll see how uh, Silver Bell is. Um, All right, I think I'm going to promote as well. So Silver Bell, here we go. So it seems like that's the uh, basic attack is the basic heal. Pretty darn fast, not going to lie. Here we go. Damage is not bad either. Damage resist down is right there as well. All right, and let's stack it up to two times right there. I am not gonna lie, the damage is actually not bad as a support. And then there's the third damage resist. It also stuns as well, right? Uh, so he attacks, yes, uh, but only through his skill. His regular attack or basic attack is a, uh, it's a heal. And then he also has that periodic heal as you guys can see right there. Alright, so not bad. Alright, so in this particular team right here, let's put in Silver Bell. And uh, see how that turns out. But of course, Silver Bell needs to use a different topping here. Uh, most likely, it's better to use a full-on Swift Chocolate. I think for this one, I think it's going to be better. Something like this. Just to verse the uh, golden cheeses. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, there's a dialogue right there. Oh, Silver Bell uses skill first. White Lily. Okay, the he uh, periodic healing is there. The damage is also on the cookies as well. Oh, White Lily is so close to dying, but si uh, still alive right there. Silver Bell stun as well. Freeze coming out. Revive. Can we beat this? We shall see. Ooh, that... That skill right there from Golden Cheese is going to be... Oh, the skill still activates even after White Lily dies. But Silver Bell's damage resist actually helped out a lot too. Alright, maybe uh, we, will, we can beat this one though. We'll see. Oh, it looks like we're going to win though. Should be able to win. There we go. Four seconds remaining. Okay. Let's see the healing here. Four million. Not a bad healing, honestly speaking. As a four-star promo right there. Uh, damage, of course, you're not going to really see damage. But I think uh, the main thing that comes into effect is the damage resist. Uh, not a lot. 
instantly, but the more and more you de- uh, use it, the better and better it is. Um, so I think it's pretty decent. Uh, I mean, it's a little hard to rub against these, uh, you know, five star ascension, uh, ancient cookie who just bursts down, uh, and then the uh, ascended uh, epics as well with the four star promo at the time. But I'm, I'm gonna have to say, not bad. All right, we'll go with White Lily here. Um, and then for Silver the Bell. Will continue to fight for peace. Yeah, I think I think this type of comp is probably one of the more stable one, in my opinion. This is kind of like a. All right, we'll we'll try going up against this one too and see how it goes. All right, here we go. So our Fear Jelly, the Fear Jellyfish uses skill first. White Lily still alive. Oh no, Silver Bell dies and it takes the uh, takes the revive. Oh, that's not good. Oh, White Lily is still alive though. Ah. Not bad. Healing, it's a little bit more than Snapdragon. I mean, of course, the team was a little bit more of a counter to a Cranberry comp as well. Uh, not bad, though, I would say. But I personally think for Silver Bell, though, Silver Bell is for more of like world exploration, too. I think. That's, that's kind of like what I'm feeling right now. Because we get the uh, stuns as well, right? So we use so we use the, the skill, right? And then we get to stun the enemies. Right, there's that's the stun. And then we also get the damages as well. So in my opinion, I think it's more towards the world aspiration. Uh, you definitely get a little bit more out of uh, Silver Bell because one, you don't need to worry too much about like the insane amount of like damage coming out, burst damage coming out from uh, the arena side when you're in the world exploration. You get a good amount of healing, you get good damage resist, you get stun as well, um, and you also get some good chunk of damage as well. So, like, look at that 7 million damage coming out from our Silver Bell. So, I, I think it's more towards the world exploration aspect of things. Uh, in this particular case. So. Like, Arena, I think there's potential. Uh, but more towards world exploration in this particular case. Like, look, the pollen. It's a good chunk of damage. Good... Uh, I mean, a decent stun as well with good healing. Damage is this again. So, amount of buffs. So, it helps out with allowing the White Lily to even do more damage too. Uh, that is not a bad damage for a healing support, right? So, uh, I think I think that's not bad at all in my opinion uh, for a 4-star promotion support cookie. Uh, so... Yeah, I think more towards world exploration as of right now, uh, from what I'm seeing. All right, so quickly to kind of, I guess, end uh, the Silver Bell cookie review. I think Silver Bell right now at least is going to be more towards the PvE aspect of things. Um, doesn't seem like it's going to be for guild boss battles. Uh, I think it's more towards the world exploration beastie side, especially with the debuff on Im being immune right here. Uh, so I think that's going to be one of the case. And then possibly when new cookies come out with the Fairy Kingdom, you know, Silver Bell might do a little bit more. Uh, we don't know as of right now. Uh, I would say if you have the ability, pulling one copy is not a bad idea. But I would hold off on spending your crystals on Silver Bell uh, if possible if you're focusing more towards Arena. Um, of course, you can still spend. But I think that's where... I want to say as of right now with the initial review potential in the arena not bad but uh going to be better for the world exploration especially in the uh pve aspect of things for the beasties all right 
So that is going to be for Silver Bell Cookie. 